Previously on Project Informers, and hours of them injecting this woman, pushing her to her limits. Joanna Peters. Wow, she looks so normal. I have to find her. Now what? <coughs> oh my god, Brody, what are you doing here? Making dinner, you hungry? I can cook another pound of pasta. No, thanks. What are you doing? Uh, Emily said she's on her way and she wants the camera rolling when she gets here. Wait, how did you get in? Same way you did. Breaking in and key, a key, a key, that's a, a key, a key. Oh, well, she's close, so. What's that? Oh, it's a glove I'm working on for Emily. So it kind of takes her flame and makes it directional, you know, instead of her whole hand. So she puts the glove on and it concentrates it to one finger. You know, kind of like a little fire gun. A tiny flamethrower for your finger. Neat. You asked. Yeah, so. so you, um, tinker, huh? Try not to sound so condescending. No, I enjoy good tinkering. Without it, I wouldn't be able to enjoy a Nicholas Sparks movie the way it was intended to be viewed. Not at all? No, not at all, you heartless demon. Virtual reality. Really? Virtual reality? Yeah. There's nothing more thrilling than being in the moment when Manny Moore turns to Shane West and says, I told you not to fall in love with me. I don't know, it just gets me every time. <clears throat> the notebook? No, not the notebook. A walk to remember. Fo football movie with Denzel. Let's remember the Titans. Okay, animated. Animated movie in the in space? Girl, no, that's Titan AE. What's wrong with you? I, I'm sorry, but I don't really watch romantic films. I don't know. Give me a good post-apocalyptic sci-fi thriller and I'm all good. So, how long have you and Emily been dating? <laughs> We're not dating. Mm -hmm. No, she doesn't even like me like that. Hey guys! Uh, hey. I want you guys to meet oh. Joanna. Joanna Peters. Oh my god! Um, sure. Hi! Uh, are you hungry? Oh, no, I couldn't possibly sure? put you out like that, thank you. Oh, no problem. <laughs> after, yeah. after all, it is my pasta. What? I was gonna pay you back. Calm down. Hi, Kate. I'm Joanna. I'm Kate. Is I'm Kate. Kate is me. It's really nice to meet you. <laughs> Remember those videos I was telling you about? Well, whenever you're ready to talk about it, I'd love to get it on tape just to build a bigger case against Edison. Oh, of course, anything to help. Oh, no, no, you don't have to do it right now. Oh, no, no, I'm good. I'm ready. Okay. Uh, two years ago, I was at a bar in the city. I had just gotten fired from my dream job at a literary agency. Literary agency? Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, well, it was. <laughs> well, that night I was pounding shots pretty hard, lemon drops. And I had moved to the city about three months before from a tiny town in Alabama, so I didn't really have a lot of friends. Well, any friends, which resulted in me getting hammered alone. So I decided to call it quits because I had to get home to feed my cat Godot. Oh, that is such a great name for a cat. Oh, right. Thank you. Sorry, go on. Um, so just as I was closing my tab, this woman approached me. Gorgeous redhead. I mean, she looked just like Ingrid Michaelson. <laughs> uh, and well, I was single and had just had the worst day of my life. So I thought, who am I to turn down advances from a beautiful woman? <laughs> So she bought me a drink, we started talking, and I'm not sure if she drugged me or if that drink just sent me over the edge, because the next thing I remember is waking up in a laboratory in upstate New York. What happened when you were there? Uh, well, uh, every day they would uh, inject me with this, I don't know, serum, and it burned like a thousand fire ants charging through every vein in my body. And it was the same schedule every day. 8 a.m. wake up, 9 a.m. injections, 10 a.m. radiation, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. training, 10.30 p.m. lights out, and then the torture would just start all over again. You know, sometimes they would uh, tase me like a dog and make me do tricks with the fire I could all of a sudden produce. And when I was too worn out, too weak to produce the fire, they would, uh... I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We can finish it tomorrow. Are you sure? Absolutely. I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh, stop apologizing. <laughs> uh, I'm fine. I'm good. If you don't mind me asking, though, uh, can you show us the tricks? Uh, only if you're comfortable doing it. Fireball? 
That is, can we, can we see it? It's cool. Only if you're up for it. Of course! Okay, so I can uh, concentrate the flame and make it directional like this. Oh! oh. <gasps> that is so cool. Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> yes! Uh, can you please teach me? I'll do anything. I'm kind of wiped out. Oh, uh, yeah, tomorrow. Sure, you, you can show me tomorrow. Actually, would you mind terribly if I stayed here tonight? I'm just not sure I have the energy to make it back. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Wow. What? Neat. Next week hey. on Project Inferno. Oh, she's still here. Yeah, of course she is. I don't know how they managed to hide it so well, but goddammit, I found it because I am amazing.